Hello, ladies and gentlemen. It's your boy, Baby B. Thanks for kicking it with me. How y'all doing? Today, we are starting our next Let's Play of Astro's Playroom. This game has been called a tech demo by many on the PS5 for the controller, and I have to say, they are not wrong. This game really shows off the power of the PS5 and its DualSense wireless controller. But I'm not gonna lie, even this, this opening, like I literally feel every little vibration as it goes throughout the controller. And the adaptive triggers, absolutely amazing. But besides that, it's just a little fun, a little fun gimmick game. Like, like, oh man, this is so satisfying. Just just pulling these controllers and just feeling like like there's a little pullback and then you click and you can just feel as the, the fire comes out of the bottom of the controller, you can kind of feel that flame like coming through it. Absolutely, I, this is next gen right here, and I love it. I am here for it, a hundred and ten percent. I am here for this. Uh, this controller is absolutely phenomenal. Um, and Astro's pretty cute. They've kind of uh, made Astro into the new, uh, the new mascot for PlayStation, and I, I think he's adorable. I think he's an awesome mascot. You got Spyro. You've got Crash. You've got You've got Astro. I mean, you know, Nintendo's made a killing off those cute little mascots. When you have uh, Mario and Zelda and uh, and all those little guys, and now now PlayStation's got their own. So, Astro's Playroom. Oh, this is this is awesome. I love this controller. I wish you guys could feel the controller like I'm feeling it right now. It's pretty sweet. Doing little figure eights here. Oh man, this is so cool. I, if this is the if this is the evolution of gaming, I'm all in, 100%, 110%. So far, this is the only game um, that I've really felt this. Oh my goodness, I just can feel the little guys in there. I feel all the little Astrobots that just flew in there. Uh, I, I, I think I'm trying to think of another game where I really felt the controller. Um, a lot of the, the multi-party games that you get for PlayStation 5, you don't really feel the... Hold on, you can, you can you blow into it. Okay. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. So, a lot of the third-party games that they make, like Assassin's Creed and things like that, don't really use the remote to its uh, capabilities but some of the first party PlayStation games that I played like Miles Morales even though it was for PS4 first um, Ratchet and Clank which I'm gonna do another playthrough of here soon um, games like that Sackboy Big Adventure games that are PlayStation games you really feel the controller alright so I flick up oh there's my little boy Astro, how's it going, my fella? How you doing, Astro? Oh, he's so happy. A jump, jump, jump. Oh, he's got the laser. That's dope. That is dope. Just, I love what PlayStation's done with this game, man. I absolutely love it. Hello. Square. Oh, I punch it. Oh, so satisfying. And I pull this. Oh, you can feel it like stretch. Hello. It's a little fish. It's a fish box. Oh, where are we at? What the heck? Oh, it's a PlayStation. Very nice. PS1. CPU Plaza. Oh, this is like a, like the inside of your PlayStation or something, I bet. I mean, you, this is showing you what the inside of your PlayStation is built like. Um, oh man, this the, like you can feel the difference when you walk on the grass versus on the metal. And then we got a battery, memory, metal. This show like memory or something. 
Okay, okay. Let's go over to the PlayStation 1. PlayStation Labo. Where have I heard that from before? PlayStation Labo. Oh, they had the Nintendo Labo, I think, where you where you built um, different accessories to go with your with your the um, your Switch. It says the Speedway. <laughs> I love these names, man. Oh, what a tech nerdy thing to do. GPU jungle. Oh my gosh. What's this one? Network speed run. This one's the fan. Cooling Springs. Alright, let's go Cooling Springs. I've seen some tech demos of Cooling Springs. Let's go Cooling Springs. Cooling Springs. Bot Beach. Oh, just the, like, even sliding, you can feel that, like, Boop. Oh, <laughs> that's awesome. That's great. All right, let's see what walking on the sand feels like, if that feels differently. They say, oh, yep, yep, it does. It does. Everything really feels differently. Collect the little coins. That is awesome. Oh, come back here. Hey. I have a beach ball. Let's play volleyball. Who wants to join? Who wants to join? Hello, let's play volleyball. Volleyball, volleyball. Volleyball, beach volleyball. I have a bucket. Hey, hello. You want to play beach volleyball with me? Hello. Hey. Whoa. Whoa. What the heck? I'm gonna explode that for a second. Oh. Oh. Hey. 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 You want to play volleyball with me? No. I guess not. This is sandstorm. Oh, even this feels weird, man. I don't like it. I don't like the sandstorm. It feels weird. What's over here? More enemies. Die, die, all of you. All right. I guess I'm gonna have to go in the sandstorm. I don't want to. I want to play volleyball. Come on, guys. Let's all play volleyball. You want to play volleyball? Hey, hey, hey! I was hitting it to you, bro. What the heck is that? Oh, oh, it's one of those rubber things. You pull the thing on its head. <laughs> oh my gosh, you dumb, bro. You dumb. I just knocked you out of the park, son. Alright. We're swimming. Let's go over here. Hey, what's up, dudes? What's up, bro? Oh, wait, what is that guy? He's got. He's painting. Um, what's that PlayStation game that just came out? Uh, Concrete Genie. Or Concrete Graffiti. Concrete Genie, I think is what it was. It was uh, the game where you painted and you used like a little stick to paint and the, the pictures came to life. I think it was Concrete Genie. Um, I think that was what that was referencing. Concrete Genie. They did say there were a lot of references to other games, like PlayStation games in particular in this game, which is pretty dope. Uh, hello. Alright, we're gonna get this. Whoa! What is that, a PlayStation Eye? PlayStation Eye camera! That's from the PS3 era, brother. I know because my stepmother has those like crazy, because she plays, um, all those little uh, PlayStation Move games. She has the Move controller, and she would play volleyball and tennis for hours. It's pretty cool, though. If you actually played with them, they're actually pretty darn cool. Uh, let me go through this sandstorm now. I don't think there's anything else for us to do here. Brother, you are trapped in the sand. Homie, let go of the sign. Let it go. Jump up here. Oh, let's go open the magical door. See what's behind the magical door. A checkpoint. A lily pad. Jump from lily pad to lily pad like a little frog. And what's over here? We got... Oh, diving boards. Bouncy, bouncy, bouncy. Um, what else? What else we got? Oh, hey, hey. Oh, snap. Oh, 
Whoa! Whoa! Let's do it again! From downtown! Oh, I am terrible at this. Alright, alright. Enough playing around. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, da I'm gonna dive off this diving board if it's the last thing I do, bruh. Ready, and go! Whee! Boom, baby! Can't stop me. I'm the gingerbread man. Making a splash. Alright, I think that's it. I think I'm gonna stop this episode here. This is a fun little level, and I'm telling you guys, it's not a long game. Astrobot probably gonna have about three, about about five or six playthroughs of about ten minutes each, um, and and that's what I'm thinking it's gonna be. I'm making that guy eat that cake over and over again. That's pretty funny. Um, but I think I'm gonna end it here, and I hope you guys enjoy. This is a fun little cute game. It's a little break from the game that we played last with Miles Morales, where it had more of a serious tone. But a little cute, fun game. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please tickle the like button, poke the subscribe button, and until next time, peace out, y'all.